Hey guys, you're watching Android Geek. Today I'm going to review CM13 for Asus Zenfone 2. Well, as you all know that Asus development team is horrible like hell. I mean, it just it's uh, the phone is out for more than a year now and they're still with the Android 5.0 base ROM and still there are many bugs that are pending. And also their software is filled with a lot of bloatware and it really makes the phone all the more laggy. I mean, it already has the memory leak bug in it and plus there's so much bloatware. I mean, there's no scope for the phone to run freely at all. So well, finally I have got the guts to uh, install CyanogenMod 13 and uh, so far it's pretty good actually um, oh well definitely there are some drawbacks so I'll just get to that in a moment so first of all um, the phone is totally smooth and you really feel that you the phone is worth buying after you uh, install this ROM I mean it's totally no lag no no stutters it's just total full flagship type phone Okay, so let's head to the bugs. Now I have one bug with the network, that is a SIM card of mine keeps disconnecting its network anytime, I mean it just comes back and then again it goes. I went back to the stock room just to st test it and it was fine there, but here again it's acting out weird. And another bug is uh, the battery is not that good and also sometimes it's good. I'm using a custom uh, kernel and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll also leave the links for the TWRP and CM13. Unfortunately I couldn't make any uh, tutorial but this is just a review for how is it working as there are many questions arising everywhere. So and another bug is of the Zenfone camera app is that when you uh, keep uh, on default the optimization is on auto or you can also switch it to manual but in any of these two um, you get green lines and actually you cannot take photos so all you have to do is just uh, tap on this off option and optimization and rest of the stuffs work and another problem is you cannot save photos in your SD card it's defaulty on phone and also this ROM doesn't have any FM radio so you have to bear with that I mean you could use the TuneIn radio app from the Play Store but yeah that requires internet uh, there's not a such bug yet and here you can see that it's running Android 6.0.1 and just today I got an update so it's running the latest build and the updates come like daily or every alternate day so you're pretty much uh, updated with all their builds and uh, so far there's no problem and exposed works, gravity box works, all the exposed modules are fine and for root access you don't need to flash uh, super su you have to go to developer options and uh, tap on root access and apps and adb that's it well at the end i would like to say that this rom is really good for daily usages and i don't think you will really encounter any major issues while using it and it's totally uh, yes from switching from the asus stock rom you're gonna really uh, fall in love with your phone back again and uh, I hope that soon Asus will release their source code for us to get uh, FM radio. Well, just to let you know, the Cyanogen uh, camera app can save in the SD card, but it's not really that good. I mean, I, do, I don't feel the quality to be up to the mark as the Asus camera app. I mean, it's a little bit noisy and uh, I mean, it's not really good. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions regarding the ROM, please comment below or contact me on my Facebook page. And if this video was helpful, please hit the like button and please share and subscribe for more. And happy geeking!